Hello and welcome to a, another video in our series of Moss products. My name is Nick Clark, we're from Company Interiors and we're here today to show you how to make a Moss frame. I do hope you're enjoying the videos on the channel. Please do the usual stuff of trying to subscribe if you like this sort of stuff and press the notification bell if you want to keep on getting these videos. So what we're doing today is the, is the Moss wall videos that we produce for you before. Um, we are now doing a smaller version of that but this is also a more focused version of it. So what we tend to do with the moss frames is that these can be used just as maybe um, a, a series of say one, two, three images along a wall or maybe a, a long slim section. We've used that before in in our, in our office design business um, and you know it's just it's just a great product it's, it's a very easy thing to produce and we're going to drop all the affiliate links in the description of all the material that we're using today um, there is a link in the description where the actual moss product can be purchased so there is a link that you can do all of this stuff yourself and we will show you today in real time how we're going to do that. So let's crack on. I um, like to just wear some gloves for this simply because it has a tendency to make your hands go a little bit green. Nothing to do with any issues there. It's only a green food dye that is used to preserve these materials. So once again, these materials are totally preserved, stabilised, don't need any watering, don't need any maintenance and we'll just carry on looking great for a long long time. So what we're going to do here, we're going to start off with um, uh, bun moss. So I'm going to have a couple of cameras here, I'm going to switch from one to the other. So the, the, the bun moss is a product where you would receive that in a box. Um, it tends to typically have, um, I don't know, probably uh, 600 60 centimeter square two foot square uh, that tends to be what is in each box um, it is a more expensive product but you can see it's you know it's, it's a very nice feature um, it's gonna stick out in a three-dimensional style view what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to get an idea of how my composition is going to be. So I'm going to use this as a um, as a portrait image so that's long ways going upwards so that's how I want to just scale my my design so I'm just setting out at the moment so what we're going to do is we're going to find that we've got a few gaps maybe in that although I don't know we can maybe push that together uh, I, I'm happy with that so far so we're going to have also another product that we're using here which is lichen so lichen is a a polar region, a far northern, um, a northern Scandinavian style product. A lichen is very, very slow growing and it's got a wonderful sort of almost coral structure to it. Very, very detailed. Um, it looks great on some of these products here. So I'm just trying to get a bit of a random feel. I'm trying to create a bit of a... Um, you know, a, 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 a bio-reality. I'm trying to make as, as close to sort of nature as I can think my product's going to be. Now, here we go with flat moss. Flat moss, again, comes in these boxes, smelling of the forest. Uh, wonderful, wonderful product here, preserved, a preserved moss. You're going to need to do nothing to this. And I can only liken this to... Um, to maybe sort of laying a carpet. You want to, you want it to lay flat, join up together, and we're gonna hit that with some scissors in a minute and maybe tidy that up. So again, sections, I'm just laying out at the moment. You're seeing this all in real time. There's no fancy editing involved. Maybe that'll fit in there like that. You know, they will, you know, this is a natural product. It does, it does come in, in some slightly different colours and slightly different finishes. So you need to try and just choose from your selection, from your box as to what is fitting, what looks natural. 
think I need that to be a bit more random. I, think I need that to go a bit upwards that way. Maybe that just to sort of fold up there. Maybe just like a like a line of that looks better, possibly. It's just sort of sweeping round. It's better. It's got a bit of an angle there, you see. So that's that's coming together in my mind's eye. I, I'm I'm just trying to sort of leave a corner there, a larger expanse up there. This sort of drifting down into one side, and then I think I'm just going to fill that or maybe try and make that come into the corner and get one more in there. There we go. I, I, I like that. I think that is, that is probably, that's probably what we're going to want. There we go. You can be fairly rough and ready with this product. You know, it's, um, it's supposed to look you know, we're, 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 we're imitating, imitating nature and nature's never perfect. So I like that. So that's going to come together and bring all that. So I want that to bond together. So I like that. I like the features of what we've created there. We've set that all out in our mind's eye. By all means, sort of stand up, take a sort of look down at it. You know, just sort of jiggle it around a bit till you're happy. There's no rush here. You know, I'm working fairly quickly because I'm making a video. There we go. Yeah, I like that. That'll do me. Okay, well, let's, let's get straight on with how we're going to fix this product now. So, we've got our design how we like it. We know our pieces. So, let's just remove some of the other items off our workbench. We've got a few tools and bits and bobs there, but you don't need too much else. Now, how are we going to start? fixing this. Got two methods of doing this. We've got something which we call a grip fill, which is a very, very strong adhesive, or we've got our favorite glue gun. Both will do. Um, I'd say the glue gun is just going to go off quicker and, you know, we're going to get a good fixing with that. So I'm just worried about some of the gaps here. And there we go. If that pushes up tight, that's going to be fine. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. So where would I start with getting my fixings? Um, I'm gonna probably want to cut the edges so we've got a nice square, defined, detailed image that is gonna go on the wall. It is, after all, just a, it, it, it's, it's a shot that is fitting into our scene. So let's just take our sections off again. One's going there. One's going there, one's going into the corner. Now, one thing that you can do is you can actually cut the corners in advance. So that will just make you push the product into the corners in, in a better way. And again, just move that out of the way. Let's just, take, let's, just try and, let's just try and create a right angle of this product. Get a straight edge. You want a good, long pair of scissors. Very important that you're not snipping and snipping and snipping at this. Okay, I've got a good right angle there. We have literally got a forest floor working up here on the bench. So there we go. Right, okay. That's going to fit in there perfect. This one... This one, I want that to sort of blend into that. Push that into that corner. Okay, that's a right angle there. I can see that again, that that is creating my right angle, so. corners. Thank you. 
And also, I'm going to hit that with a bit of hot glue. That last one there. So, pour a load of that boiling hot melting glue onto that. Then that's going to nestle in there. And that one's going to nestle in there. There we go. That's all fitting in nice and tight. Worry about all that glue at the moment. There we go. That's looking good. I'm happy with that. And then that one's just going to nestle on there. So let's get a bit more of our adhesive on that. And this is uh, this one's overhanging a bit here, so get a bit of adhesive in there, just so we can get a bed. And then let's reload our cartridge, hot glue going in all over there. Now, you'll have some links for these, as I said, in the description, and I'm gonna put some links for my other glue gun, which is slightly bigger. Anyway, it's all good, that's fine. We've only got a little frame here. It's perfect. It's perfect. So, and the next thing is we're gonna just go in with our lichen. So, maybe use some of our bonsai tools here, just so that is gonna, that is just going to sit into those bits. Now, I like to tend to use the hot glue gun for lichen simply because it's so delicate. It stick, this will stick onto any surfaces. Go in with our, our tools. We can tidy all that up in a minute. We don't need to worry about it. What I want you to remember is you need to just get on with it. You need to just start to get your imagination running. I think I might well drop another another one in there just to widen that up. Give me a better angle maybe. Yeah, quite like that. There we go. And then just get that onto there like that. Okay, so there we go. So all that we're doing now is we're just filling our left our edge here up with our lichen. So then that's just gonna run into the gaps that we've created. That will fit in there quite nicely. It's such a natural product you don't have to do too much to this for it still to look amazingly natural. Hopefully I've brought enough with me here. Yeah, okay, so I like that. So let me, um, let me just get that all glued in for you and then by the powers of technology, I'll come back and show you the frame all cleaned off and all finished up. Finished off putting our lichen into our corner here. Um, we've got everything all just swept off and pretty much the workbench all tidied up. So here we go. There is a moss frame. Uh, you can put that on the wall. Doesn't matter which angle you want to turn it. Doesn't matter how you want to design it. Uh, quite a nice looking product. So I really want you to go and try and do the designs yourself. If there's anything that you need to create any of this, there's all the links are in the description. Good luck with your own project and please let us know how you get on, send us some pictures and leave some comments. Thank you very much, bye.